This is Alana. I wanted to make a quick video for you today that will focus on data source mashup. Uh, this is a feature available on our higher tiered plans. And data source mashup allows you to combine multiple sets of information and display them together on one seamless gauge. Combining your data sets or data sources will allow you to gain new or more powerful insights than if you were to track each piece of data separately. For example, if you wanted to look at your tickets per endpoint, a very popular KPI, you'd look at the ticket information from your PSA tool and the endpoint or machine information from your RMM tool and combine them on one gauge. Today, I will be building out REM, which is reactive hours per endpoint per month. And this is a measure of how reactive you are. It's an important metric to identify as you may be spending too much time on reactive services. And if this is the case, you're left with little time to proactively change the way you do business. So let's get started with this gauge. All right, I am starting this gauge from scratch. So first I wanna pick a data source and I know I'm gonna be using my PSA tool here. So I'm gonna use ConnectWise for this example. And I know I'm looking at hours and time. Uh, so I want my time entry data set. Great, now we're in the gauge builder. Uh, so first we're gonna start with our measure, which is what we're counting. So in this case, it's going to be hours actual drop that in there, and I know I want a sum of hours. And now for the dimension. The dimension is how we break down this count. Uh, it's your x-axis, if you will. Uh, so maybe you want to break this down by company or location. Uh, in this example, I'm just going to break this down by date, because I know I want the rem by month. So now we can see all those hours that were summed up before are now broken down by month. And we can add another filter in here. Maybe we just want to look at the last three months, for example. Three, and I'm going to ex exclude this current month. Just have three. Great, so now I want to start looking at my machine statistics. So I want to add another column. Uh, to do so, you hit this green plus button, add a new layer. I know I'm looking at a new data source, so I definitely want a new data set. And now I'm going to look for my RMM. In this example, I'm going to use Continuum. And I'm going to find my machine statistics. And now we can start building out this layer. Uh, so first, I want to use this ID pill, drop that into the measure. And in case you're unfamiliar with the ID field, it's a unique identifier within the machine statistics. Uh, so you can imagine all your machines listed out on one large table. Uh, this ID helps identify each machine uniquely. Uh, I'm not going to worry about dimension or filter here. I'm just going to leave this at 70 across the board. Um, but of course, you know, you could add in some date fields here or maybe last checked date. Uh, so for now, we're going to add in one more layer and perform our calculated metric. So here we're going to pull the first query, which was our sum of actual hours. And we're going to pull over our division symbol. And finally, our query two, which was the count of machines. So now we can see another column was added here with our calculated metric. And this is our REM. Uh, so now maybe we want to turn this into a nice visual. Uh, so what we can do is hide these first two layers. Maybe we just want to show the rim. And now we can turn this into a bar graph. Great, so if you have any questions about how data source mashup works or any need help with this gauge in particular, uh, feel free to contact support at brightgauge.com.